All right, guys, I've got my zombie robot. I got my smoke bombs. Let's talk about invisibility, stealth, and how to get the most out of both. I know Drewskis and Canadian have both done videos on the invisibility trait, but while messing around with these abilities, we found some tips that can help propel your stalker game to a new level of mind fuckery by maintaining radar stealth for as long as possible. I'll put up some timestamps now if you'd like to skip ahead, because I'm gonna go over the basics of invisibility to make sure that everyone is on the same page by the end of this video. This will all be PvP focused, so let's start with the radar. In Destiny 2, it is not very clear on when you do or do not appear to your enemies. The point of reference is a little delta in the center of the radar circle. You cannot assume that the delta tells you when you are or are not visible on radar. Like so many things in Destiny, the correct function had to be discovered by more enterprising community members than myself. They figured out that the radar delta actually works by being on all the time when you're moving around. If you crouch, your delta shows every second, but to your enemies, you show every two seconds. But that's not the kind of Naruto running ninja stealth we're talking about today. We want that sweet, sweet Area 51 grade ninja. The only way to truly remove yourself from radar is to become invisible. And after the invisibility has worn off, you can extend the radar stealth by crouching for up to an additional 15 seconds. Void hunters can become invisible in the following ways depending on which class they use. Top tree or way of the trapper. Dodging will make you invisible for 4 seconds. Using the Graviton Forfeit, Exotic will extend that time to 5 seconds. After the Season of Dawn updates to class ability cooldowns, Way of the Trapper has become the most user-friendly for uptime for invisibility and stealth. Hunters are favored to spec in movement for their dodge ability cooldown, meaning that we could have their invisibility back as fast as every 9 seconds with max mobility. This class should be used for flanks and trap maneuvers with your teammates. Middle Tree, or Way of the Wraith, crouching and hitting a precision final blow on an enemy will grant invisibility for 9 seconds. Graviton extends that time to 12 seconds, along with about 2 seconds of true sight. This has the highest potential for uptime of invisibility, but because it requires precision final blows, it's not something that you can always rely on. Wraith's invisibility style is good if used to quickly finish off a group of opponents once you have activated the invisibility. Bottom Tree, or Way of the Pathfinder. The melee ability Smoke Bomb, when thrown at your feet or that of an ally, causes invisibility for anyone within the smoke for up to 7 seconds. Graviton extends that time to 9 seconds, and this applies to any Guardian, no matter the class or subclass. Smoke Bomb also grants one stack of Heart of the Pack for 19 seconds. This buff grants plus 34 to Armor, Recovery, and Agility, which I assume means plus 34 to Resilience, Recovery, and Movement. The timer for Heart of the Pack is a good indicator for when you'll show up on radar if you're using the crouch techniques discussed later in this video. Because Pathfinder has the longest duration between its invisibility actions, it is best if used to set up a full team ambush. Typically my team uses this at the beginning of a round to get early life advantage. The Assassin's Cowl Exotic grants invisibility for 5 seconds on a melee kill. This includes melee kills while in any super or using the hunter throwing knife. Guardians of any class that run Rat Pack can gain invisibility for 6 seconds if you get a kill with the sidearm and then reload. You gain an additional 2 seconds if using Graviton Forfeit. If your specific flavor of invisibility does not have a timer in the lower left corner, there will be a sound effect that occurs when the effect is about to wear off so that you can time your crouch. Now we need to talk about what breaks invisibility. Sprinting or ability jumping will keep you invisible, but you will briefly show up on radar. After sprinting has started and the radar blip has gone out, you can continue to sprint and not show up on radar. Firing a weapon, melee, melee abilities, class abilities, or even charging a fusion rifle will break invisibility. An odd thing that we found is that drawing a bow will not break invisibility until the arrow is fired. It seems a little inconsistent to me that a fusion rifle charge would break the ability, but a bow draw would not. True Sight from Hunter Perfect Execution or the Wish Ender Bow can see invisible opponents, but do not grant radar pings to the user or their allies. Once invisibility has worn off, you can still maintain radar stealth for 15 seconds if you are crouched, and the real way to push this ability to its maximum utility is knowing how to prevent ruining that stealth. If you accidentally come out of stealth and don't realize it, the other team may see you and punish you for being separated from your team, which could result in a nine-year-old blueberry furiously typing that they slept with your mother and that your YouTube channel is trash. Have you subbed the channel, by the way? Nice plug, Squish. Thanks, other Squish. Anyway, 
Where was I? Right, radar stealth. If you stay crouched and maintain that radar stealth until you are within striking distance of an enemy, you can set up some very effective flanks or traps with your team. The most obvious way to break radar stealth would be the same as anything that breaks invisibility, except in the case of charging a fusion rifle. Charging a fusion and letting off that charge will not show you on radar unless you fully fire the weapon. Important to note is that if you are using dodge to become invisible and decide that it's time to re-up on your stealth ability, when you dodge again, you will throw up a radar blip. Try to time the dodge for when your enemy is engaged with your allies. Less obvious things, however, are what prompted me to make this video. Walking off a ledge or even some small terrain bumps will break your radar stealth. Walls can do the same thing as terrain, so be careful about hugging them too tightly. Basically, anything that gets your feet off solid ground will make you show up on radar again. Also note that if you come within five meters of an enemy, the circle on their radar will light up no matter if you're a stealth or completely invisible. That effect works no matter your elevation above or below an enemy. You need to be cautious if you decide to try and play bridge troll on somebody, they may figure out that you're below them, drop down and get the kill on you. Remember, invisibility should be used to augment your playstyle, it should not be your your play style. Overuse of the ability will put your opponents on high alert for any sort of misdirection and make you more vulnerable. For the same reason, I don't recommend running three dodgy hunters, it's just too much invis. But using a smoke bomb on a class other than a hunter is a great technique. People will likely not expect an invisible titan off radar, rushing them for a shoulder charge. Also, use callouts if you are off radar. Smart allies can help you set up good baits and traps by tricking the enemy into an easy kill zone or keeping them occupied during a flanking maneuver. Don't forget that your decoy smoke and tether can help misdirect someone. And that's about it. If you think I missed something or would like to suggest my next video topic, please leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please do all the usual youtube -y related actions, such as turning on alerts if you've subbed, like this video if you liked it, follow my various social media all linked in the description below, and I currently stream every weekday on Twitch and would love for you to stop by. Peace!